Hey guys, it's Ben here and we have a plethora of transfer stories to talk about today. But what is for sure now is that Liverpool's number nine jersey is about to be occupied for the first time since Christian Benteke left the club. So after a few tedious weeks of reports, Mohamed Salah is finally about to join Liverpool. A medical will take place tomorrow ahead of a £39 million move. The Reds are going to smash their transfer record, perhaps not for the last time this summer. And the former Chelsea winger is set to become Jurgen Klopp's second signing of the window. I think most Liverpool fans will be pleased with this one. The general consensus has been that we need another winger, especially one with plenty of pace and end products. Very similar player to Sadio Mane in that regard. And when Mane was injured or away last season, we really struggled for pace. So the addition of Salah will certainly and he helped that out. He scored a goal every other game for Roma in the last two seasons, so I think there can be no doubt that Liverpool have done some good business here. Now on to some of the other interesting rumours that I've seen today. Marco Asensio, the Real Madrid midfielder, who's burst onto the sea as of late. He scored in the Champions League final. He scored a wonderful hat-trick in the under-21 Euros the other night. Now he is supposedly getting a bit sick of not being first choice at Real Madrid. He wants to start more games. He only actually played 11 La Liga games from the start during Real Madrid's title-winning campaign. And Diara Goal in Spain are claiming that he's not afraid to leave if Real Madrid aren't going to guarantee him a more prominent role in the side. And Arsenal, Juventus and Liverpool are all interested in the playmaker. The Reds apparently offered £43 million for the youngster earlier this summer. Whether those reports in Spain can be trusted, we don't know. It does seem very far-fetched that a player with this amount of quality and someone that's looked like one of the best young players in Europe over the last six months or so, you'd be really shocked if Madrid were to let him slip through their fingers. But we know Liverpool are in the market for a midfielder and one that will cost around £40-50 million. Obviously, Naby Keita still being linked. Asensio does play a bit further forward than Keita, but it could be seen as an alternative, especially if Alex oxlade Chamberlain signs a new deal at Arsenal as well. So we'll see how this one plays out, but I imagine all is fine and he'll stay at Madrid. Now the French press have been busy talking about Liverpool again. This time Thomas Lamar of Monaco has made the back pages over there. And Liverpool are said to have joined Tottenham and Arsenal in a race to sign him. Now obviously with Salah just coming in, it does seem unlikely that we pursue another winger, but there have been links to the likes of Gelson Martins and Aubameyang and oxlade Chamberlain and Lacazette. So maybe there is a chance we'll sign another attacking player. Now Lamar operated on the left hand side of Monaco's front three last season and scored 14 goals, got 17 assists in all competitions. He's a France international and if some of the other Monaco players do jump ship, he might be another one that does if he sees that the ambition over there isn't what he hopes. And from what I've seen of him, he'd be a quality addition. But I do feel that with Salah just arriving, this one probably is unlikely. Now staying in Liga and staying with attacking players, Lucas Moura has admitted that he could be on the move this summer. Now Goal have noted that he has been linked with Liverpool and Manchester United in the past, but other than that there's not really anything concrete in this one. Basically just said he's under contract but if something comes up he might move. He's got no offers at the moment but moving elsewhere in Europe is possible for him. I've always liked Lucas Moura and we have been linked with him many times over the past few years and United have too. Wouldn't surprise me if he did end up in the Premier League at some point soon, but I think there's even less in this rumour than the Thomas Lamar one. Now switching focus to the fence and of course this has been a position where Liverpool have really messed up this summer the Van Dijk saga still rolls on it's gone a bit quiet on that front but reports did come out this morning that there's a chance we could go back in for him but the Express have put up a piece which cites the Sport Review don't know how they're getting any information and the claim is that Liverpool have made a 36.7 million pound bid for the Napoli defender Kaladu Koulibaly Napoli have refused Liverpool's offer now he's been a target for Chelsea for years and they've also apparently had a bid rejected and now Koulibaly has said recently that he is open to coming to the Premier League but he is happy in Naples at the moment. Likelihood is that he will stay there, but you just don't know. He could be the subject of a huge offer. There aren't that many centre-backs, top centre-backs on the market at the moment, but there are several teams that want one, especially in the Premier League. Liverpool, Chelsea, perhaps Man City, United have signed Lindelof. Arsenal may look at one, their options are limited there. Spurs, if they're going to carry on with three at the back, might need some cover. And Koulibaly has been one of Serie A's leading defenders in recent years, so he is surely going to be top of a lot of people's shopping lists in the defensive position. But from a Liverpool point of view, I'd say that Van Dijk has still far more chances signing for the Reds than Koulibaly ever will. And finally, this time looking at potential departure, Loris Karius' agent has ruled out the possibility of the goalkeeper leaving Liverpool this summer. He told Goal.com that there's nothing to the rumours that he'd leave, that he believes in what Jurgen Klopp's doing at Anfield, and he wants that number one jersey back. If that's true, I respect that. I respect that he wants to prove to the fans at Liverpool that he... He is capable of being their goalkeeper. Mignolet obviously had his trials and tribulations over the past few seasons. But since he replaced Karras last term, he's really turned some people around. He's really changed some opinions. It looks like that problem in goal is resolved for now at least. And we all hope that Mignolet can continue that. But it appears that both Karras and Danny Ward will be breathing down his neck this season. It'll be interesting to see what Klopp does in the Cups. Will he go with Mignolet in the Champions League? Will he maybe give Karras or Ward a chance in the League Cup and the FA Cup? I think we can safely say that Mignolet will be starting that first Premier League game at Watford in mid-August. So I hope you enjoyed the video 
guys, thanks very much for watching. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff and leave a comment with who you think will be next through the door at Liverpool after Salah signs. Could it be another attacking player? Will it be Van Dijk? Could it be Naby Keita? Alex oxlade Chamberlain still linked. There really is an interesting few weeks ahead and I really do hope that FSG come up with a good, we need a positive atmosphere around the club going into the season and there's nothing that would achieve that more than a few really nice, exciting signings. Do follow me on my other socials. It's Ben Might Say on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.